Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to use a tool that'll help you create and mint NFTs on a Hedera network. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so this is the tool in question. So this is a public repository on GitHub that you can clone down and get it on your local machine. Link to that is in the description below. And whilst you're in there getting that link, like this video, drop me a comment because I like to have your feedback and also subscribe to this channel and click the bell so every time I create one of these videos, you're notified. So yeah, this is the tool that I've put together. So it's a Dockerized project that uses Python and Django to work with the Hedera network. So it's using the Java SDK with a Python wrapper because at the time we're recording this, we still don't have a Python SDK. So setting up Python on your local machine to work with Hedera can be quite uh, difficult because you need to have Java installed and things like that. So I put a Docker project together to make it nice and easy for you guys to even get up and running as soon as possible. So this is the project. This helps you follow the process of creating NFTs without knowing too much about the code. In another video, I'll really lift the hood on this and show you how it works. But essentially, it follows the four steps, which is to create a token at Adara. So you get a token ID. You then generate NFTs against that token ID, you associate an account to the token, and then you transfer NFTs to associated accounts. They're kind of the four steps that we're gonna be following today. So uh, you can see I've got a whole bunch of tabs here. You can create a token. Now I've already created a whole bunch, I've got four tokens live in, in my database currently, um, but we'll create one, it's nice and easy to do so. So you can call, call this YouTube demo name, I don't know, that's, that's the company name. Decoding symbol, let's go DID and test. And let's go with maximum supply. So this is the maximum supply of NFTs that we can add to a token. Go with 50. There you go, and that goes off, calls the API, gets an account ID, which you can see is just added to this head. Okay, so these are all of the different tokens that I've got in my database. You can see I've got different maximum supplies, you've got the remaining supply. So once you've generated and minted NFTs, that remaining supply will drop, okay? And then you can you can have artwork in the system that hasn't been minted yet. So it will create the artwork, so it gets layers of images and creates unique artwork. That artwork then can then be minted, and it's those minted NFTs that can then be transferred to an account. So uh, if we click on view NFTs, you can see we've got a few pieces of artwork here on Decode and Limited Test Token, view NFTs. There you go, we've got some NFTs that have been, sorry, the artwork for NFTs that have been generated. Now these pieces of artwork have been generated using a tool and actually it's saved that piece of artwork on the IPFS, so the Interplanetary File System, which is a decentralized way of storing images, which is exactly what you need to do when minting NFTs. So it does it all within this tool, okay? So I've generated this artwork I will be creating a collection actually, but that's outside of this video. But if you like this artwork, I'll be creating a collection and sticking on Zeus Marketplace, which is another video I'm gonna um, be putting together. So watch this space. But I like this artwork, it was just a piece of fun. When you clone it down from GitHub, you won't get the artwork, you just get blank PNGs, but this is what I've put together. Okay, so it's got a whole bunch of different traits. If you click on this one here, it's got the ghost, ghost um, body, red background, it's got an arm tattoo, no shades, it's bald, hence, you know, the name is probably gonna be Little Bobs. Okay, so um, to transfer NFT, actually let's generate some artwork, okay? So let's generate some artwork against YouTube demo, demo. Okay, so let's go and generate two. Click generate. We use a celery worker in this Docker project. So, so rather than um, generating these NFTs, let's say if you want to generate 100, it wouldn't go in the request response process. It gets fired off the celery and it goes off and it does it in the background. So as you refresh the screen, this artwork will pop up. Okay, so it's, it's creating it as we're talking right now. Okay, so we've generated the artwork. Now you need to, what you need to do is mint the artwork. So if you click on YouTube demo, you've got two pieces of artwork. Actually, let's see it quickly. So if we go into tokens, uh, YouTube demo, where is it? This one here, view NFTs. So we created these just, just whilst I've been create, uh, talking on this video. Okay, what we need to do now is mint this artwork, okay? Actually, I can show you the IPFS um, bits and pieces. So if I go in the database that sits behind this, which is the Django admin page, if I go into NFTs, I'm going to the most recent two, 
you can see that it's created all of this in the database and it's created the IPFS image URL and the metadata URL, okay? Which is what we need um, to create the NFTs. It creates a file as well, so it's got a, a JSON representation of the traits and then it's got the image there. Which, uh, okay, that's the actual image that you're looking at on the screen. So that's what we've created. So what we now need to do is we need to mint this. So you go into YouTube demo, which is the token we've created. It says you can mint two pieces of artwork. Click yes, click submit. Okay, and it goes off and it now mints that in the background. There's a little bit at the bottom here behind my head, you can't see it. It says all NFTs have been processed. So now if we go to tokens and look at YouTube demo, you can see that we've got 50 maximum supply, remaining 48, but we've minted two. Created two, minted two. We're ready to transfer them. But before we do that, we need to associate some accounts. So when you bring this tool down on your local machine, it will create a Bill and a Ben account. Go into accounts, look at Bill. You can see he's already got an NFT assigned to him, uh, as in it's been transferred to him. But this is one of the accounts. And if you look at, am I already looking at Bill? I'm already looking at Bill. Let's look at Ben. Ben has no NFT. So I'm going to associate Ben to the YouTube demo token. Associate, associate Ben, click yes. Now I'll go ahead and it'll associate Ben's account ID to the token ID. So now we can transfer tokens, go back to the YouTube demo. Uh, we've got associated accounts one. Okay, so we've got one account associated. So now we can go ahead and transfer one of these to Ben. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this one. So it's serial number one. Transfer to Ben. Yes. Click submit. Okay. And I've got a behind my head. You can't see. Saying NFT is being transferred. So it's using Celery to do it in the background. Shouldn't take a second. But if I now go into tokens, you can see here that I've transferred one. Okay. So I've minted two and one has been transferred. Go into the accounts and look in Ben. There we have it. It's been transferred to Ben. You can see here, this has made an API called Herdera and said, look, how many NFTs are now in this account number? You can see it's one. And this is the NFT that he's got. There you go. That is the tool that I've put together just to kind of round it off. So this is a, um, a project that uses the Java SDK from Herdera with a, a Python wrapper. So we are now coding and making calls using Python. It's a Django web framework, which allows us to do all of this in a uh, browser. And it's a Dockerized project that incorporates IPFS. So it's kind of a nice little toolkit that you can clone down to your local uh, machine, uh, set it up, which I'll show you in another video. And then um, you're good to go. You're good to go to create some NFTs. So if I go back into the NFTs page, where are we? This is the NFT collection that I will be releasing soon enough. It will be called uh, either Mini Bobs or Little Bobs. So watch this space uh, and it will probably go into Zeus Marketplace. So thank you very much for watching. I've really, really enjoyed putting this project together. I wanted to do it for quite some time. Please, again, like the video, drop me a comment. I want to see your feedback so that I can create more of this type of content. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.